Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful windsock with supplies you have already at your home, I'm sure. It's basic craft supplies and these are so much fun to make and they're easy enough for kids to do too. These would be really fun hanging up at a birthday party, in their bedroom, or even used as a parade, a parade prop or something. Then they're just fun to play with. So let's go down to the studio and I'll show you exactly how it's done. The first thing you want to do is take a piece of 9x12 paper, this is a lightweight watercolor paper or heavyweight cardstock or poster board, and cut a scallop along the long edge because when it's rolled up this will be the end where we glue our streamers. Then use crayons to make a cool design. Your lighter color crayons are going to look better because um, we're going to watercolor over this. And if you want your uh, fish to have a smile, just go ahead and draw it like that and when we roll it up it'll become a face. Now I've already done that on the other side so there we can see our um, wax coloring and we're going to do a resist technique so you can use any watercolors you want and I like to begin by wetting my paper. It just helps the colors, um, the colors blend a bit so let me just brush on some water and I'm going to use shades of blues and purples for this so they really show up against the, um, the yellows and the pinks that I have here. So why don't I do a little bit of purple, I'll do the purple over the yellows, and look how cool and bright that is. Isn't that neat? Just go ahead and um, paint right over your design. I'm going to go in with some blue now. This is going to be a blue fish. Now there's a book called The Rainbow Fish that would be really cool to tie in with this if you're a classroom teacher or a um, if you do any daycare or anything like that. Uh, this project is suitable for preschool ages and up, although um, preschool age will need a little help with the cutting. They'll also probably need a little bit of help with um, with when we tie on our little um, our little hanging parts, but it's you know really fun for all ages. I taught this at my local library and um, and all ages really enjoyed this project and boys and girls alike enjoyed it and it's kind of hard sometimes to find a project that everyone's going to enjoy. Now as soon as this is done we want to set it aside to dry and I'll show you how to make the streamer tails for our windsock. Now if you want to make this um, more weather resistant you could laminate, <clears throat> excuse me, you could laminate this. Alright, I'm just going to wipe this off and then for the tails, I'm using party streamers, but like I said, if you wanted it to be more um, permanent, you can use ribbon. And I want to use um, pink, yellow, and orangey yellow. And you can make these tails as long as you want. I think like two feet is pretty good. And you can simply just, just tear it. I will trim it off at the end when I'm all uh, when I'm all set after I've glued it all on. And you can fit about eight strips across a. Um, a 12 inch span. There's six. I'm just gonna have nine here because I'll have an even amount and then if I have to discard one that's not a big deal. Alright and the next thing we want to do is prepare our hanging piece. So I have some fishing line here and I find that works the best because you can't really see it and um, this is really really strong stuff. Not that it really needs to be for what we're making but what I do is I like to pull off six feet of this so I find if you kind of stretch out the uh, the cord and you go from your fingertip to your nose, that's about three feet. So do that twice and you end up with six feet. And then you're going to fold it in half. And I realize this is like pretty near impossible to see because this thread is so fine and invisible. But basically you fold it in half and hold your two ends together. And then what you want to do is fold it in half again. So you've got, um, you've got a loop and you've got two loose ends here. Hold them together. And then you want to find the point where all of the strings, they're right here, they're like invisible aren't they? Where they all kind of, where, where the midpoint, and then you want to just tie an overhand knot and that's going to give you the loop for hanging. And then on the end here you can snip through your loop and you've got four, four loose ends and you're going to tie those onto holes that we're going to punch on the front of our um, prepared piece here. Now I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to dry this up thoroughly and then we're going to go on to the final step. Okay, our paper is pretty dry, so I'm going to flip it over and then um, I'm going to glue strips of paper here to the scalloped edge. If you're, you, if you're working with kids, use thick and tacky glue. I am uh, I'm not, so I'm going to use my hot glue gun. And if you're using tacky glue, you will need to allow for some time for it to dry. But crepe paper 
glues so well that it's really not too big of a deal. Just go right along and stick them on there. I actually used hot glue last night when I was working with children, but I did man the um, man the glue gun, and it wasn't that big of a deal. If you do want to use hot glue gun, uh, hot glue gun, I would sec uh, suggest you use low temp glue. That way you don't even have to worry because it's going to be pretty safe. All right, so now we're going to roll it up and we're going to glue it down that way. So we've got our streamers coming down there from the end. I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue right along the edge. Now, if you use tacky glue, uh, it'll work great, but you'll want to have like some clothespins or something that you can clip on each end to um, keep it secure while it's drying. Like you put a little clothespin down here and a little clothespin right there to kind of clamp it while it dries. And that would probably take about 20 minutes. So just to give you the heads up on that if you're using the tacky glue. Or you could just, you know, glue this for the kids with the hot glue. All right, now we're gonna punch some holes. And I like to, I don't like to punch through that double layer there. So what I do is I'll punch my first hole right next to that. And then I'll go right across. And I try to punch far enough in so that it's not going to pull through. I try. I want to make sure I get a really nice, uh, really, you know, deep hole there. And then I want to put a couple eyeballs on. And you can, um, I had some kids put them really close together, but I like to have mine on, on each side, but it's completely up to you. You can use big googly eyes, little googly eyes, whatever you like, or no googly eyes. You don't have to do it that way. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there, just with my hot glue. One there and one there. And plop them right in. And then the most difficult part of this whole project is um, getting the fishing line tied on. It can be a little frustrating, I will tell you. So um, what I'm going to do is I will show you the technique. I'll tie one on and then um, I'll tie one on and then that will be that. So you go right through the hole and then what you want to do is just kind of tie a double knot, just like two shoelace knots. You know, we got one knot and we're just going to tie another one and then um, notice how much thread you have left over because that way if you try to keep that about equal all the way around then your um, your wind shot your wind sock will hang pretty um, pretty evenly so just go around and do that to every side all right I like the designs I put on that one all right so that's that's how it looks and then when you're all done you will have one that you can hang up or dance around with or whatever you like. I think it's a really fun project and I do hope you try it with your kids, grandkids, students, um, any, any child in your life or hey, just make it because it's fun for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe. If you like this video, share it with any teachers or parents that you know because they would really enjoy doing this craft with the kids, I think. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.